just thought of a subject to talk about. My grandmother, Nana. Already told you about her smacking the glasses off of Sam and flying into the mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, there was one time we went to visit. She would give up her room and go in there and stay with her husband, Sam, in his room. Well, Nana's a type that should walk around in her underwear and bra, not think twice about it, come out and have a conversation, smoke a cigarette, and we're all looking at her like, oh my God, I hope I'm not like this when I get old. Anyways, Dad and Kathy, my ex-stepmom, used to stay in the her room. So, she didn't think she had to knock when she came in. I mean, what could they have been doing? Were they decent? She didn't care. She just barged right on in there and start running her mouth. And finally, my ex-stepmom got up the courage to say, Hey, Sadie, could you please knock before you come in? Because we may not be de She didn't even let them finish. She said, Oh, you want me to knock when I come in, do you? You want me to knock? I'll show you some knocking. Well, she marched on over to her next room, got out the shotgun that was loaded, said, Get out of my house! There's your knock! Get out of my house! This is a true story. I am not lying. The woman was a loon. Got the shotgun, ran them out, and us kids were in the bed like, Are we next? Oh my God! And that's all I remember of that particular event, because I do believe it was a major PTSD moment, and I've lost some of the memory, thank goodness. But if you have a grandma, and her name is Nanner, and she's 6'2", and meaner than a stirred up bee's nest, I'm telling you what, don't cross her path. And that ain't no lie.